This is Evangelist Al Lacey. Before we enjoy this new Clyde record of The Mean Little Kid, I do want to thank Pastor Carl Baugh and the fine people of Calvary Heights Baptist Temple for allowing us to make the record in their services. And I want to say a special thanks to my good friend, Mr. Mac Evans, for providing the engineering and the music for this record. Before we enjoy it, let me say this. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Now, he meant what he said. Some folks would say, well, I can get to heaven. I can get to the Father by church membership, baptism, catechism, confirmation, communion, confession, saying prayers, or good works, or holding out faithful to the end, or some other humanistic thing. No. Jesus said, No man cometh unto the Father but by me. He did not say, But by me and a baptistry, or me and a church, or me and a confession booth, or me and a minister, or a priest, or a religious leader. No. Jesus said, No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Dear friend, if you have never received Jesus Christ as your own personal Savior, then you have not come by Him. It cannot be something plus Jesus or Jesus plus something. It's totally Jesus Christ. The Bible says if you repent of your sins, that means you turn from them. You ask Him to forgive you. And the Bible says if you receive Him into your heart as your personal Savior, He'll come and He'll wash all your sins away. And He'll make you a child of God. And He'll give you a place in heaven. If you've never done that, I ask you today, just call on Jesus. Ask Him to forgive you and to come into your heart and be your Savior. And if you will, I'll meet you in heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pastor Carl Ball of the Calvary Heights Baptist Temple in St. Louis, Missouri. We have searched and searched and searched until we finally have found the fellow who will meet any occasion. He was hidden from view all of these years, but now that he's come, we'll never be the same. In fact, last year when he came, I thought he was going to bite both the ears, the nose, the feet, and then scratch my back. And then I wish he had. Because he's going to do exactly that on this album this week. I wanted to give him a present. I'll bring it before the week is over. A box of termites. <laughs> For that little wooden head, I think that would be exactly the right gift for the right occasion, for the right guy. And you'll understand more of what I'm talking about in just a moment, because I want you to meet Dr. Clyde Hyde, the mean little kid. Don't clap, folks. Throw money. Will you stop that? <laughs> Why do you, everywhere we go, you always tell them to throw money. Why do you do that? I'm practicing to be an evangelist. Well, you cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let's see. Uh, we got here, didn't we? Yes, Clyde, we got here. We finally made it. Yes, yes. We're here. Yes, yes, Clyde, we are. We have arrived. Yes, we've arrived, Clyde. We made it. Yes, yes, we did. Where are we? Oh, Clyde. <laughs> We're in St. Louis. St. Louis. Is that in New Jersey? No, God. <laughs> Oh, yeah, now, now I know. I, know, I remember. You remember. I know what church this is. You know what church this is? Yeah, I know. Okay, what church is it? It's the Carl Law Memorial Tabernacle. Oh, cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Carl Ball Memorial Tabernacle. That's what he told me it was. <laughs> okay. Where, where, where's Brother Ball? He's right down. Oh, hi, creature. No, no, no. No, cry. 
You don't call him creature. I just did. No, no. No, God, you don't understand. Say, it's preacher, not creature. Oh, yeah? Take a good look. Will you stop that? <laughs> That's right. Now, listen. Todd, I don't want you coming in here and insulting Brother Ba. That's what I get paid for. No, no, no. no, no. Now, listen, I... If you're going to start out like this, I'll tell you what I want you to do. What do you want me to do? I want you to say something nice about Brother Ba. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. All right. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to say nothing nice. Will you stop that? Now, come on. Say something nice about Brother Ba. All right. He looks like a movie star. Brother Ba looks like a movie star? Yeah, Frankenstein. (laughs) How much do you charge to haunt a house, Brother Ball? Clark, will you stop that? I, I tell you what I want you to do. What do you want me to do? Why don't you sing your theme song for everyone? Who's going to play for me? Well, I'll tell you what I did, Clark. What did you do? I went to the expense of bringing in America's number one male pianist to play for you this week. Really? Where's Liberace? No, no, no. <laughs> Is it Van Clyburn? No, 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 no. I brought you the best. Well, who is it? Well, just look over there at the piano. Oh, good night. That's Snack Evans. <laughs> <laughs> he, he couldn't play a radio. Now, what, will you stop that? Now, will you... Why do you always call him Smack Evans? Because one of these days I'm going to snack him, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> will you just sing your song? Give me a note there, Snack. Oh, isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. Go right ahead. So let the sun shine in. Face it with a grin. Smilers never lose. In. Hey, that guy's doing all right. That's okay. Will you go on? Oh, yeah. And crowners never win. So let the sun shine in. Face it with a grin. Open up your heart. <laughs> Here's where it gets gorgeous, folks. <laughs> And let the sun shine. Wait a minute. What's the matter? What are you doing? I'm taking a deep breath. (laughs) What for? I'm going to sing that last note real long. Why? I'll tell you after I do it. No, I want to know now. Why are you going to hold that last note real long? I'll tell you after I do it. Will you get it done? Will you stop interrupting? Okay, get it done. All right, okay, all right, okay. Will you stop that? All right, okay, stop it. Now just get it done. Yes, sir. Why do you hold that note so long? I like to see you turn red in the face. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, good old, old brother boy. Now, Clyde, please, don't, 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 don't insult him. Why not? Well, he happens to be my friend. He won't be when I get through. Now, Clyde, <laughs> now stop that. Now, isn't there something nice you can say? Yes, I'm going to compliment, compliment him. All right. On what? On his suit. Oh, well, all right. Uh, Rudder Law, that's a nice suit you got there. Too bad they didn't have it in your size. <laughs> but, uh, you keep it another 20 years, it'll come back in style. What, will you cut that out? 
I'll have you know he had a real bargain when he bought that suit. He he actually got two pair of pants with it. Is that right? Mm-hmm. I thought he looked like he was sweating. What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? Wouldn't you sweat if you had on two pair of pants? Clyde! <laughs> uh, come on. I want you to say something nice about Brother Bon. Now, come on. Okay, I, I, I'll do it. Okay. Uh, Carl Buh mm-hmm. has the early American look. <laughs> the early American look. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I know. You mean he's so distinguished, he sort of reminds you of Thomas Jefferson or George Washington. No. What do you mean he has the early American look? He looks like a buffalo. <laughs> 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 Clyde. Yes, sir. What in the world are you laughing about? <laughs> it's killer. It's a killer. <laughs> My stomach. <laughs> Clyde. Yes, sir. What in the world are you laughing about? Well, uh, do you know uh, uh, Willis Housley? <laughs> yes, I know Willis Housley. I found out something about him. What's that? Do you know why his mother named him Willis? No. Why did his mother name him Willis? Because she couldn't spell Lack. <laughs> Clyde, that's terrible. I, I think that, uh, that Willis is a very fine-looking fellow. Well, he would be except for one thing. What's that? His face. <laughs> you, you know what Willis Housley needs? What does he need? A face transplant. Clyde! <laughs> Brother Willis, I'm really sorry about this. Don't let him kid you, bud. He pulls the string. Will you stop that? Now cut that out. <laughs> now, Clyde, I, I think Willis is a fine-looking fella. Listen, do you know that he was so ugly when he was born? Instead of slapping him, the doctor slapped his mother? Clyde! <laughs> <laughs> and then you know what? What? When Willis was a little baby. What about when he was a baby? Well, his mother took his picture. His mother took his picture and busted the camera. Now, what, what, what did she do with the picture? Well, he was so ugly, she sent it into Ripley's, believe it or not. She, she sent Willis's picture to Ripley's, believe it or not. That's right. Well, then what happened? They sent it back and said, we don't believe it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sit tight, buddy. It's going to get worse. Now, why? <laughs> and then you know what? What? When Willis was a teenager. What about when he was a teenager? Well, he got another picture taken. Oh, is that right? Busted another camera. Yeah. So what did he do with the picture? He sent it into the Lonely Hearts Club. Willis sent his picture to the Lonely Hearts Club? That's right. Well, then what happened? They sent it back and said, we ain't that lonely. <laughs> You know what they do at Christmas time? What do they do at Christmas time? They hang up Willis and kiss the mistletoe. <laughs> what was it, Willis? Did the horse kick you in the face? Will you stop that? Or did you get run over by a neck truck? Will you cut that out? I know what it was. Your face caught on fire and somebody put it out with an axe. Will you stop that? Clyde, that's terrible. I know it, but what can he do about it? Now, now listen. <laughs> this is awful. Uh, the crowd's eating it up. Yes. <laughs> Willis looks like he's going to try to run. No, 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 he, he wouldn't do that. Hey, I'm going to check something out. What's that? Just a minute. What are, what are you doing hanging your head upside down? Yeah, that's what it is. What's the matter? I was checking out his mustache. What about his mustache? You know what it looks like upside down? No. It looks like molasses running into his nose. <laughs> Clyde! <laughs> now listen here. And that wouldn't be hard, because you know what he's got? What has he got? He's got a basketball nose. <laughs> a basketball nose? Yeah, it dribbles all over the place. <laughs> now listen here. 
You've been insulting my friend. If you think he's your friend, you better check it out. Now, now listen, Clyde. You've been insulting him. Now, I, I want you to say something nice about his face. I ain't going to lie. Clyde! Now, come on. You say something nice about Willis's face. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll say something nice about his looks. All right. Uh, he's got beautiful eyes. Willis has beautiful eyes. That's right. Well, that's nice. I don't know which one's your prettiest. You don't know which one's your prettiest? You mean the left or the right one? No, the green one or the brown one? Clyde. <laughs> or the red one in the middle? What you want? Clyde. <laughs> now, come on. Say something nice about his, about his looks, will you? All right. He's got a Roman nose. A Roman nose? Yeah, it's Roman all over his face. <laughs> It's, ha- it's, it's not Halloween, Willis. You can take off the mask. Now, will you stop that? Now, Clyde, that's terrible. I know it, but what good can he do that? Now, will you stop that? Now, come on, say something nice about him. All right, he's got a gorgeous mouth. A gorgeous mouth. Yeah, it looks like the Royal Gorge. <laughs> now, come on. Please, Clyde, just something nice. All right, I'll do it. Okay. I'll tell you what Willis wears on his face. What he wears on his face? Yeah, what he wears. What does Willis wear on his face? Powder. Oh, now he doesn't wear powder. Oh, yes, he don't, you old buddy. Now, Clyde, Willis would not wear powder on his face. Oh, yes, he does. Not a big he-man like him. Oh, yes, he does. What kind of powder does he wear on his face? Gunpowder. <laughs> gunpowder? Yeah, gunpowder. You mean to tell me he wears gunpowder on his face? Well, sure, look at it. It's all shot. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time once again for another session with that mean little kid. I guess I really shouldn't be so brash in introducing this fellow, Dr. Al Lacey. And everywhere he goes, the gospel is preached, and he has been received the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior. That isn't all. Not only the English-speaking countries have heard him, children, moms and dads alike, but you see, and wherever he's going, I'm glad you've come tonight. And if you've heard the things he's mentioned, now, the man who received the doctor's degree, the kid with a doctor's degree in insult is Dr. Clyde Hyde, the meanest kid in town. (laughs) Clyde? What in the world happened to you? Who? Who? Not John Elliot. Who? Those little girls? You mean? Not Pastor Bob. Pastor Bob put this gag on your mouth. Would you like me to remove it? Mm Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you. Oh, that's awful. Well, Clyde, I want to ask you something. What's that? Well, uh, how come Pastor Baugh put that gag on your mouth? Well, because I told Snack Evans something about him. What did did you tell Mac? I told Mac that Pastor Baugh came to Missouri in a covered wagon. (laughs) In a covered wagon? Why a covered wagon? Well, take a look at it. You'll know why they covered the wagon. <laughs> Good night. I think that lady's going to lay an egg. <laughs> Sit tight, honey. <laughs> now, 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 listen here, Clyde. But I am tired of you going everywhere with me and insulting people. Well, I'm going to keep on doing it. Now, now listen, Clyde. I want you to stop insulting everybody everywhere I take you. If I stop insulting, you'll be looking for work. Now, now, Clyde, I'm going to tell you something right now. What's that? Let's get this thing straight. What? I am the boss. 
You're the boss. Mm -hmm. And you are nothing. You're the boss, and I'm nothing. That's right. Big deal. What do you mean, big deal? You, what? You're the boss over nothing. <laughs> hey, do you know what happened? What? Did you know that Pastor Baugh dropped his wristwatch in the Mississippi River? And it's still running. He dropped his wristwatch in the Mississippi River and it's still running? Yeah. The watch? No, the river. Oh, Clyde. <laughs> and you know what happened? What? He, he tried to catch it and he fell into the river. The pastor fell into the river? Yeah, he got an awful head cold, too. He got a head cold. Oh, he did talk to me about that. He said he was trying to keep the head cold from going to his chest. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I got the solution for that. What's that? Well, tie his neck in a knot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, uh, you, you know what I got? What have you got? I got a knock-knock for you. A knock-knock? Yeah, you know those knock-knock jokes? Oh, no. Oh, uh, yes. All right, well, go ahead. All right, okay. Well, go ahead. Oh, you mean I'm supposed to say knock-knock? No, I'm going to say knock-knock. Right, well, will you get it done? All right. Knock-knock. Who's there? Hatch. Hatch who? Gesundheit. <laughs> now listen, fella. I am tired of you acting up like that. And I want you to stop. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Knock, knock. Who's there? Uh, pecan. Pecan who? Pecan somebody your own size. <laughs> well, go ahead and lay the egg, honey. You will wait. <laughs> oh, that lady's going to lay a big egg. Now, will, will you stop that? Hey, you know what else I got? What? I got a knock-knock for Snack Evans. A knock-knock, yeah. You ready, Snack? Knock-knock. Who's there? Turner. Turner who? Uh, I forgot what it was. Come on. No wonder they call you a dummy. Turn around, I can't stand your face. <laughs> Last time I saw a face like that, Tarzan was feeding it a banana. Well, Clyde, now will you stop that? Now listen. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? Before I go tonight, you know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to sing a song. What kind of a song? A song about my girlfriend. A song about your girlfriend? Yeah, I rotten the song. You what? I rotten it. No, 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 Clyde, that's, that's written, not rotten. How do you know you ain't heard it yet? <laughs> A song about your girlfriend. That's right. Well, who's your girlfriend? Debbie Banker. Debbie Banker? You mean the girl that's turning red? Wait till I get through singing the song about it. Well, did you, did you want uh, Mac Evans to play the piano for you? No, I'm going to sing at Acapulco. Oh, I see. All right. All right, Claire, let's let's hear the song. Here it goes. Eh, 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 eh. Mm hmm. Eh, 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 eh. Now, I think that little girl's going to lay an egg. Now, oh, will you stop it? Now, come on. Uh, have you got your throat clear? Not quite. Eh, 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 Now is your throat clear. Would you call the road a rooter? Will you stop that? Now, come on, I... Sing your song about your girlfriend. Oh, here it goes. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. Mm -hmm. My little girl took out her glass eye and she dropped it on the floor. My little girl took off her wooden leg and she threw it out the door. My little girl took out her false teeth and laid them on a chair. My little girl... I want to love you, but you're scattered everywhere. Let's welcome Cloud. Well, here we are again. Yes, here we are again, Clyde. Now, I'll tell you what I want you to do. What do you want me to do? I would like for you to sing your song again. How come? Well, 
Your public has been asking. Your fans are just begging to hear you sing the song again. Well, I wouldn't want to disappoint my fans. No. All right, uh, where's your snack? Is he at the piano? Yes, Mac Evans is at the piano. Uh, he's going to get over there, yes. Uh, what's the matter, snack? Didn't you read the script? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, give me a note there, snack. Now is your throat clear? You got some Drano? Will you stop that? <laughs> now come on, Clyde. Just sing the song. Here goes. Let the sun shine in. Face it with the green. Smilers never lose You're doing all right, Snack. Crowners never win. So let the sun shine in. Face it with the green. Open your heart. <laughs> I'll eat your heart out, Evans. <laughs> and let the sun shine. Oh, you're not going to do that again. Oh, yes, I are. <laughs> I want to ask you something. What's that? <laughs> Where did you learn to sing like that? You don't know. No, I really don't know. Where did you learn to sing like that? You really don't know. No, I really don't know. You really don't know? I really don't know. You actually don't know. I do not know where you learned to sing like that. You really don't know. No, I really don't know. In the Snack Evans School of Music. <laughs> the Mac Evans School of Music? That's right. I never heard of it. Well, it went bankrupt. Oh. <laughs> now you know why. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll snack it. No, 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 Clyde, Clyde, don't, don't, don't start it on Mac now tonight. How come? Well, I don't want you to do that. Well, the pastor gave me a hundred bucks to get in tonight. No, Clyde. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That lady must be sitting on a feather. Clyde, will you stop that? Isn't that the same lady that was going to lay an egg last night? <laughs> Hadn't you laid that yet, honey? Clyde. Now listen. Let's, let's get back to Mac Evans. Oh, yeah, Snack Evans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now listen. I think that Mac Evans is a great singer. You do? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe you need to check up on yourself. Now stop that. I think Mac's a great singer. Well, he lived the except for one thing. Except for one thing. That's right. What's that? His voice. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 listen, Clyde. Uh, I, I'll have you... I'm going to tell you something about, about, about Mac. What's that? Well, now, um, he even looks like a singer. Well, of course he does. He's got a head shaped like a soul machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Hurry up and lay that egg, lady. Clyde, will you stop that? <laughs> I'm going to tell you something about Mac. What's that? Singers run in his family. If they sound like him, they ought to run. Clyde! <laughs> now listen here, not long ago, I heard Mac sing a song and it was, uh, well, it was very, very sad. Sad, nothing, it was pitiful. Now Clyde, I want to tell you something about Mac. What's that? He knows more about music than you will ever know. Oh, is that so? Mm -hmm. How come? Well, he went to college, stupid. Yeah, he came back, stupid, too. Clyde! <laughs> 
He couldn't carry a tune that had handles on it. Now, will you cut that out? Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you something else about Mac. What's that? Well, now, he knows this real fancy music. Fancy music? Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Well, he knows um, Beethoven. <sighs> Beethoven? Mm-hmm. I thought he was dead. No, <laughs> Uh, he knows the music. Oh, I see, yes. And he knows uh, Chopin. Chopin? Mm-hmm. I'm impressed. You ought to be. And he knows Bach. Bach? Mm-hmm. That's what my dog does. No, Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> and he also knows Tchaikovsky. Who? Tchaikovsky. Who? Tchaikovsky! 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 Gesundheit! Oh, stop. <laughs> now, now listen, Clyde. Hey, you know what snack has got? What has he got? He's got a voice like a combination lock. A voice like a combination lock? Yeah, no key. <laughs> okay. Now, listen, I, I, I want to tell you something about his singing. What's that? Well, now, when Mac Evans sings, he has quite a range. He ought to sing under range. <laughs> Way out under range. No, Clyde. I mean, now, he sings high C. Hi, see, mm-hmm. that's what I drink for breakfast. No, Clyde, I'm talking about the music. Oh, I understand. All right, now, he sings high C. High C, mm-hmm. And he sings middle C. Middle C, mm-hmm. He also sings low C. <laughs> Mac, I'm really sorry about all this. The winning kids are here wrote the script. Will you cut that out? Now, Clyde, I... I want to say one more thing in defense of Mac Evans singing. Go ahead, I'll shoot it down. That's what I'm afraid of. Now, are you listening? I am listening. Okay, now, when Mac Evans opens his mouth to sing, yes, pear-shaped tones come out. Ha! When Snack Evans opens his mouth, a watermelon can come out. <laughs> In the next few moments, your heart's going to be stirred. I'm not sure in what direction. The kid who came to talk to us tonight has a heart. I'm not sure where. It might be in the bottom of a shoe, all worn out. It might be in his left arm. It might be made of rubber bands and tin cans and muddy boots and bubble gum. But I'll tell you what, we'll never forget the way he got to our hearts. This little kid has a degree. He's a doctor now, as small as he is, because he has to work on his heart every single day. You'll understand what I mean. Now the doctor of insult, the meanest kid in town, Clyde Hyde. Thank you, thank you, my public. Yes, Clyde. Now, listen, Clyde. Yes, sir. Uh, this is the last service. The last service? Mm-hmm. And uh, since it's the last service, I have something I want you to do. Well, what's that? I would like you to greet all the people tonight like you always greet Rick Hitt. Oh, all right. Hi, knuckleheads! <laughs> that isn't the way you greet him. That's the way the kids taught me to do it. No, no, Clyde. Do you know the... Did you know that Rick uh, has a false nose? <laughs> Rick has a false nose. That's right. You mean that's really not his nose? You don't think a guy could grow an ugly thing like that, do you? <laughs> you? You mean to tell me he really doesn't have a nose? He ain't got no nose. You mean that's really not his nose? That ain't his nose. It's false. He doesn't have a nose. No, sir. Well, Clyde, how does he smell? Terrible. <laughs> Listen now. I want you to be a good boy tonight. What do you mean? If you'll be a good boy, I'll give you a shiny new quarter. How about a dirty old dollar? No. <laughs> a quarter. A dollar. A quarter. A dollar. I am sick and tired of arguing with a dummy. Oh, you and Mac Evans been at it again? <laughs> now, now, listen here, Klein. Besides that, I ain't no dummy. Oh, you're not a dummy. I ain't no dummy. I'm smart. Oh, you are. I'm so smart, I'm a walking encyclopedia. A what? An encyclopedia. Oh, you are. Yeah, ask me anything. Go on, anything. 
ask you anything. Anything. All right. Uh, name uh, ten things that contain milk. Oh, that's easy. All right. Ten things that contain milk. That's simple. All right. Go right ahead. Ice cream. Mm-hmm. Cottage cheese. Mm-hmm. Butter. Mm-hmm. Ice cream. You said that. Cottage cheese. You said that. Butter, you said that. You got seven to go, buddy. Uh, seven to go. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, help me out, Rick. No, no. no. Help me test. No, 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 no. Help me snack. No, no. no. You said you were a walking encyclopedia. Encyclopedia, can't you talk? No, sorry. Come on. Now, you, Clyde, you said you could do it. Now, come on. You've got seven to go. Uh, uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Ice cream. Mm-hmm. Cottage cheese. Mm-hmm. Butter. Mm-hmm. And seven cows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't know about you. Say, speaking of cows, mm -hmm. did you know Pastor Ball used to have a cow? Pastor Ball used to have a cow? Didn't you, old buddy? Now, wait a minute. Are you talking about a real life cow? That's the kind he had, the kind that would moo. Oh, I see. All right, well, uh, <laughs> you say he used to have a cow. Yeah, yeah, he traded it for a bicycle. He traded the cow... For a bicycle? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, I don't really blame him. He looked kind of silly trying to ride a cow. Not as silly as he looks trying to milk a bicycle. <laughs> oh, that's a killer. <laughs> you know, Pastor Ball loves animals. He loves animals. Yeah, he's also got a dog. Pastor Ball has a dog. That's right. What kind of a dog is it? Oh, it's the regular kind. It's got a leg in each corner and a tail in the rear. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, Colin. What 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 breed is it? Oh, he, he breeds through his nose. No, 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 Colin. I mean, is it uh, uh, a collie? No, no, it ain't no collie. A uh, schnauzer? No, 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 no. Uh, German shepherd? No, he was born in America. <laughs> Clyde. French poodle? I said he was born in America. Irish setter. I said he was born in America. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Spitz? No, he drools a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on. What, what kind of a dog is it? All I got to Tasher's word for it. Well, that ought to be good enough. Uh, he says a dog costs $10,000. $10,000? That's what you said, didn't you, creature? Now, no, wait a minute. Ten thousand dollars? That's it. That's right. Well, go ahead. All right. It costs ten thousand mm dollars. Mm-hmm. And it's part Pekingese and part lion. It costs ten thousand dollars, and he's part what? Part lion and part Pekingese. This dog is part lion and part Pekingese. That's right. And it costs ten thousand dollars. That's right. Part lion. Well, which, uh, which part is lion? Part of that to ten thousand dollars. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, what what was his father and what was his mother? Boy, are you dumb! Now you folks know which one is the dummy. What do you mean? His father was a boy and his mother was a girl. <laughs> you got you folks just got to help this guy out. Will you stop that now? And you know what? What? The pastor also got another animal. Another animal? Another pet? Yeah, he got a pet skunk. You're kidding. I ain't not. <laughs> pastor Baugh has a pet skunk? That's right. You mean a real... Yeah, he's alive. Well, do they keep him on somebody's farm way out in the country? Oh, no. He stays right around the place. <clears throat> well, this skunk, did they keep him out in the backyard in a shed or a doghouse or something? Oh, no, he stays right in the pastor's house. <clears throat> well, Clyde, this skunk, uh, has he had the uh, the operation? No, sir, he can still do it. <laughs> well, what do they do with him at night? Do they put him down in a cellar somewhere? Oh, no, he sleeps with the pastor. Pastor Ball sleeps in the same bed with a skunk? That's correct. You're kidding. I ain't not. You're telling me that the pastor and the skunk sleep in the same bed? That is correct. Well, then I just have one other question. What's that? Well, Clyde, what about the smell? The smell? Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh, well, the skunk is slowly getting used to that. <laughs>